Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform the equivalent of the VLOOKUP function from Excel in Microsoft Access using a combination of DMAX and DLOOKUP to get that approximate match. We'll look up letter grades for students based on their test scores. But the same technique works great whether you're calculating employee commissions or customer discounts or whatever you'd use VLOOKUP for. Today's question comes from Alyssa from Baltimore, Maryland, one of my gold members. Alyssa says, I know how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel to figure out letter grades from test scores. How can I do the same thing in Access? Well, Alyssa, Access has a function called DLOOKUP, but DLOOKUP doesn't have the approximate match that VLOOKUP does, where it'll find values inside of a range. So in order to do this in Access, we have to use a combination of two functions, DMAX or DMIN, and DLOOKUP together. Let me show you how. If you guys aren't familiar with VLOOKUP, it's a function in Excel. It's one of my more favorite functions. It was recently replaced with XLOOKUP, which is more powerful, but VLOOKUP goes back many, many years. I love this function. I cover VLOOKUP in detail in my Excel Expert Level 4 class. Essentially, you have a spreadsheet here that's got a list of students, their final grade, and you want to look up a letter grade. Where do you look up the letter grade from? Well, you make a little chart here, or on a different sheet, wherever you want to put it, that's got the grade and the letter that it's associated with. Now, direct matches, exact matches, like AD is a B, right? That's fine. But VLOOKUP can look inside of a range, which is what's called an approximate match. So 72 is a C, for example. Now, Excel can do this. Access cannot do this with one function. You have to use two. You have to use DMAX, and then you have to use DLOOKUP. We want to basically DMAX the grade over here that is smaller than this value. So the largest value over here that's smaller than 72 is 70. Then we can DLOOKUP the letter grade from 70. So let's see how we do this in Access. First, we need a list of our students and their grades. So I'll create a table, create table design. All right, a student ID, auto number. I always put an auto number in my tables, pretty much almost always, right? We've got a student name and their grade, which will be a number of type long integer. If you want to go double, if you want to have, you know, 89.3, that's fine too. I'm just going to go with whole integers here. All right, let's save this as my student table, student T. Say yes for the auto number, and let's put some values in here. Okay, we got Joe with a 65. We've got Sally with a 90. We've got Sue with a 70. We've got Will with a 67. All right, let's go a little bit off so it's not exact. We'll go Richard with a 98, of course. <laughs> we'll go... Um, I don't know, Deanna with uh, 82. Okay, so there's the list of students and their grades. Now we need to make our lookup table. We'll do that with another table. Okay, so create table design. We'll call this our grade table. So grade ID, auto number again. Always, always put an auto number in there. All right, grade letter or letter grade, whatever you want to call it. This will be short text. And then the grade minimum value will be a number. Again, a long integer. Save this, grade, whoops, grade T. Okay, all right, save this. Let's put some data in here now. All right, grade letter, A, minimum value, 90. Okay, B is an 80, C will be a 70. D, 65, and an F for zero. Make sure this range encompasses your entire range of values. All right, save it, close it. Now, let's make a query where we can look up their letter grades. So create, query design, bring in the student table, close this. We're not bringing in the grade table. We're not making a relationship between these two tables because the values won't be exact. Okay, we're going to use a function to look stuff up. So bring in the student name and the grade. Okay, I'm going to save this while I'm at it. Student grade 
Q. All right, here's what we got so far. Now, this is actually easier to do if you can see the grade list, too. Let's bring over the grade table just to display it. All right, here it is. Just going to set it down in the corner just so you can see what it looks like. All right. Just put it right down here so don't be in the way. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to look up this 65 in this in this list here. Now, if we just do a straight D lookup, we'll only get the values that have matches over here. Let me show you. All right, if I come in here and I say LG, letter grade, is D lookup, the grade letter from the grade T where the grade minimum value equals grade. All right, that's a valid D lookup statement. If you've never done D lookup before, go watch my D lookup video. And while you're at it, go watch my D max video too. Those are two free videos on my website. I'll put links down below in the links section. You've got to know D lookup and D max before you go any further, or, or you'll be confused. I don't want you confused. I'm here to teach you. So go watch those videos now. Pause this, come back to it. Okay. Okay, now you're a D lookup expert, right? You watch the other videos, you know D lookup, you know D max. So this is going to look up the grade letter from the grade table where the grade minimum value equals the grade. And if I run this now, okay, I get the values where there are exact matches. But D lookup doesn't do approximate matches. It has to have an exact match. So we need to use D max to first figure out which one of these grades to use. I want the largest grade that's smaller than the one I'm on. So what's the largest grade that's smaller than 67? Well, that should be 65. So we'll get that first, then we'll D look up 65's letter grade. See what I'm doing? All right, design view. So we'll come back to this in a second. So over here, let's just look up a value, we'll call it G. G is gonna be D max, the grade minimum value from the grade T where the grade minimum value is less than or equal to my score or my grade. All right, the student's grade. All right, run that now. Okay, here's our list of values. 65 is a match, 90 is a match, 70 is a match, 67 brings back 65. It's the largest value from this table that is less than or equal to this one. All right, 98 brings back a 90, 82 brings back an 80. Now, we'll use this value to look up the letter grade. All right, let me zoom in so you can get a better look at this one here real quick. Shift F2 to zoom in. There you go. All right, look up the largest grade minimum value from the grade table where the grade minimum value is less than or equal to the student's grade. Okay, now let's go back to this guy. I'm going to move him over to the right. Now, instead of using DLOOKUP on the student's grade, we're going to DLOOKUP based on G, that value we just pulled up. So get rid of that stuff and just make it G. See, because G is right here. Okay, save it. And go back in here, and there you go. There's your D lookup equivalent. All right, 98's an A, 67's a D, 82's a B. See, easy enough. It just takes two steps, that's all. There is no V lookup function, because there's no vertical, really. It's not a spreadsheet. It's You're looking up, and a domain is what the D stands for. A domain is another table or query. The hard, the hard part of it is just looking up the other value with Dmax. All right, because there's no approximate match. So you have to just see, okay, what value do I have to do my lookup on based on the value I've got? Okay, hope this answers the question for you, Alyssa. Want to learn more? In the extended cut, I show you how to take what we just did and make a global module out of it. So you can make a function that does exactly what we just did, but a whole lot easier. Because you're going to probably want to use this everywhere in your database, right? You're going to want to display the letter grade in your forms, on your reports, maybe multiple queries. You don't want to have to do all that calculation everywhere you want to display this value, right? You just want to say, get letter grade. So we'll make a public function called get letter grade that we can then use in our queries. All you have to say is, get letter grade, send it the grade, and it returns that letter grade. That's all you got to do. You can display it in your forms, in your reports other queries, wherever.
That is covered in the Extended Cut. Silver members and up get access to all of my Extended Cut videos. There's well over 100 of them now. It's a great value. I also cover lots of stuff just like this in my Access Expert Level 29 class. All the domain functions. The lookup, the sum, the count, the average, max, min, first, last. There's a lot of them. We cover running sums, creating your own custom counter, and the Excel VLOOKUP replacement stuff. That's all in Access Expert Level 29. You can find it on my website. I'll put a link down below. How do you become a member? Click the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full-length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.